All right, and we're back. So now we're gonna cash in. We have about 600 orbs, so never feel like you're gonna be strapped for cash in this game. So Lost City was probably the hardest level in the game. I still stand by that, honestly. Um, I died a few times in there. A lot of them were because of being shit, I bet, right? But um, the next level coming up is the final level in the set. It's actually probably one of my favorite levels in the game. It's just got a lot of cool shit going on. There we go. So now we can cash in. Actually, let's start off over here. So you can wait if you really want to. So I should have enough to buy everything I need for this level set. Is that foreshadowing? Maybe. So... I like how that is kind of cute, you know? If you have played Jack 2 and 3, you go, huh. I wonder if they planned that. Okay, what am I saying? This game actually does end on a cliffhanger, which sets up for a sequel. So yes, they did plan on that. In my mind, I like to imagine it. So let's go ahead and talk to the geologist and get our cells. Her big, lovely cells. Big and lovely cells, Seth. Thank you for saving those molds. That's awfully good of you. Here's a power cell to help you out. Now I can get back to my research. Alright. So like I said, you need to make sure you get... Um, her stuff activated to get the other ones in the basin before you do it. Oh, you have the orbs. Here's a power cell we agreed upon. I did miss some orbs, by the way, in Lost City, but that's because I'm not going back through that shit to get them again. So we have enough to get the last two. Well, one is an is not an orb. It's actually just progression. The other one is the uh, gambler. I like to imagine he has these power cells stored up his asshole and he's just pulling them out. Or they're his balls, and he's just handing us his testicles. <laughs> well, yeah. With a sound like that, yes, they are testicles. He's got some big balls, but we've got the biggest balls of them all. <sighs> I love that song. And talk to the boy. Nice DSBM, bro. Wonderful. You brought me the precursor, old pussy. All right, I'll fix the bridge. But don't ask me to get involved with that creature again. And there we go. Now we can do the other half of the uh, village. <clears throat> so, I think it's... Oh, it gives you a cell? I didn't know that. Weird. Crazy. I play this forever and I completely forgot that. Anyways, so he gives you a cell. I think you only need like 50? No, I don't even think you need 50. I think you need like 30. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been forever since I've watched the scenes to say how many you actually need. So if you try to do this without those, by the way, the fish spawns and it tries to kill you. So. This is actually really cool. I like how there's a level at the... Oh, Jesus. You can actually hit the fish, but it doesn't kill it, by the way. And so that takes care of the orbs and the power cells for this area. And, you know, I really like that, like, this whole place is, like, based on, like, rocks, and you just don't get to explore very much of it, which is kind of a damn shame. It's really cool aesthetically looking. So this is actually one of my favorite levels in the game. It's just really cool. It's hard, but I like it. So, this is Boggy Swamp. And this is... Big Globs of Snot. Nah, this is uh, Yellow Eco. This is what you used to shoot with if you hit the attack button. You can also aim it with the uh, goggles like that. 
And I like the music here too, it's really cool. So, this level, if we did the Samos thing where we talk to him after each thing we do, he explains that there's a precursor robot being built, which is actually what Gaul and Maya are trying to do. So, that's something that, like, you can only figure out if you actually do those cutscenes or not. So this level's really cool. It's, you know, actually it's my second favorite level. I have another favorite, the actual favorite. So, if you stand on where the eco spawns and you run out, you can also just keep having it refill like this. So, there's a mission in this level where you have to do that as well. So, yeah, you can see why yellow eco is really useful. It gives you a projectile, and that's a huge deal. Since, you know, you don't naturally have one until the sequel, um, it's pretty cool. I like it. It spices up your moveset just enough that it's it's different, and I like that. So, these rats are really easy. You don't have to worry about them, they're not that hard. But, this level is why I like it a lot, because it involves using more than one type of eco. Snowy Mountain is actually my favorite level in the game. Um, but this one comes close second. It's fucking awesome. You'll also notice that yellow eco doesn't get sucked in when you have uh, blue eco as well. So these things right here are basically hubs um, for these. It's really kind of cool if you uh, run out of like yellow eco, you can see like Jack does that little like claw attack thing with it. Which is really kind of cute. I like it. There's a lot of animations in this game that are unique to when you have certain ecos. This is why I said I wish the other games used it, because it's actually really cool. Oh yeah, fucking slam jam that shit. So, and now if we go over here, we can see, huh, there's these rocks and shit. I wonder if we need to use the good stuff, the good kush. That's how we uh, unlock the vents. Now, it's strange, this game doesn't actually have a vent in this uh, area. Like, the uh, last level had the blue one. I think there's red. There's red and then there's yellow. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure it's just yellow in the next level set. This level I have a really hell of a hard time getting all the orbs in, too. I'm not good at doing it. I can kind of do it every now and then, but I swear to God I always miss at least one. And yes, we still need... Uh... I think a pretty sizable chunk for the next one because it's an oracle and then there's like 490 ones. I don't know. It's like 360 orbs, I think, and then on top of another 120. So it's like 450 or 480, sorry. I think it's 480. You need a lot. That's all there is to it. So don't ask me. I'm not good at math. That's the only subject I'm not good at. I'm good at everything else in life, damn it. Deal with it. Okay. I mean, I am really good at science and shit, but that's because I'm weird. Alright, so that's... I think that's the only shit we need over here. There's an ambush in this level as well, which is fun. I think it's actually a lot easier um, than the first one because we actually get to use yellow. Yellow Eco is cool, but the only thing I don't like is you can't do shit like this with it. Because if you do, you'll actually just not do it. You'll do the jump attack where you jump in the air and Hadouk and shit. So, I'm going to use it on this because it is a bit finicky to free aim. It's hard to explain. Ah, oh, dicks. Okay. Also, any game that uses these things is immediately a great game. I don't know what you want to call that mechanic, but it's like... Momentum swinging, I love it. It's always a favorite of mine. Any platformer that involves it's immediately good. Except Super Metroid, it's not fun. Like, the fucking grapple beam just doesn't feel good. It's something I am kind of happy is not in any other 2D Metroids. So. There we go. I'm amazed that hit it. It did a fucking weird wraparound thing. So, yeah, every single one of those has a orb associated to it. I think there's four? It's either four or five. I can't remember how many uh, 
orbs are, or sorry, cells are associated with that. It's been a while, dot JPEG, okay? I really just say that? I'm so sorry. Oh, there's 121 um, power cells, by the way, in this game. So there is quite a few. I don't really know what these things do. I think they actually, like, home in towards you, but I've never actually found out. I think I've done it one time, and that's it. I've never been bothered to actually do it, because I don't care enough. Alright, let's see if I can pop open all these chests. There we go. That's how you do it. See, this is why I say I might miss some orbs, because sometimes that happens and they just don't hover towards you. I can't really explain how that works. But this level also has something I really like about it in terms of design, and when we get to it, you'll, you'll be like, Oh, I can see why you like this level, Seth. Because when I was a kid, I think... I don't know, I must have been like seven or eight years old when this game came out. But, um... When you see it, you'll be like, oh, I can I can totally see why you'd be like, this game is really mysterious. Which is why I'm like, yeah, games back in the day had a lot of mystery to them, especially in this era of games, because, like, you know, the internet wasn't as common yet, but this is the ambush section. Yeah, this time it's the rats and the regular lurkers. So this is only a little bit challenging because we have the yellow eco move set, but it's not that bad. It actually makes it kind of easier. Oh boy. Ah shit, see that's the only thing I don't like, is when you run out, you still attack, but you don't have the uh, same attack frames. Ooh! That was too close. That was literally the definition of that's too close. Alright, there we go. I took a little bit of dumb damage, but I'm not too worried about it. This level isn't that hard, it's just... It's got a lot of shit in it that can hurt you. Like those thorns, it's got the, the tar... There's a lot of stuff in this level that's pretty dangerous. But I like it, it's actually really cool. I think... let me... Oh my god. I was gonna say, if you get to his body, you can hit him. That's kind of my own fault. I was too busy fucking around. That's alright. I think this one's just goodies, right? Yeah, this is a... Also, I love the music in this level. Have I sent that yet? Because I, I love it. I'm pretty sure that causes that thing to sink, right? No, there's still one more. Um... Oh my god, the camera warped on his face, so it looked like he had a fucking massive chin. Oh my god. I don't think there's anything... Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, like, I think that's the last of this sort of stuff we have to deal with in the level. I died, but it's okay. I'm not gonna cry about it. This level does have one really fucking hard challenge in it, and it's when you have to shoot, um... So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go up to those things and hit them before their tongue hits you, and that's how you kill them. Daxter actually screams at you to do that, too. So... Alright, let's clear this shit out first. You do not want enemies moving around. It makes things way harder. I don't mind that there's like a few, but still. So this is the... F I think one of the only two levels in the game you can use the Flut Flut with. Which is really cool, which is why I'm kind of sad. Speedrunners, um... They out of bounds the game to where you can actually have the flut flut for the level. And it's really cool. That's why I'm like, it's a fun mechanic, and I'm kind of sad that they don't use it often. Listen to the music change, too. Oh, it hasn't kicked in yet. There we go. See, like, the music is dynamic. It's really cool. Something I appreciate a lot about this game is the music is. See, this actually controls really fluidly. Like, this is fun. I wish they let you do this more. You can also do a fucking Goomba stomp on shit, too. So, yeah, there's, you can also shoot on top of him, too. It's a little goofy, but yeah, you can do it. You can see why I'm like, I really would have appreciated more levels with this in it, because it's actually fun. And I don't think you can get on these platforms without the flood flood either. You do have to stomp on stuff a little specifically though, that's one problem with it. 
Oh god. Oh god. There we go. But yeah, this is a really fun level. I Like I said, this level just... Ah, shit, that's fine. But yeah, this little guy can actually stay in this uh, tar. I don't know what Jack's problem is. I guess he's hydrophobic or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's always baffled me as to why things like this can always stand in that, but I guess it's because, like... You know, in real life, birds, um, they don't have pain receptors in their feet, I don't think. Well, maybe they do, but they're very specific. It's why birds can stand on shit like weird, rocky surfaces and, like, not feel pain. Birds actually don't have taste buds, either. That's why they can eat stuff like peppers and shit and not actually feel anything. Well, they also don't have teeth. That's, not, that's another thing they don't have, too, but that's different. Um... Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Oh boy. I'm cutting it real cl- There we go. I was like, I'm cutting it way too close. But you see, when I was a kid I thought, Oh man, I bet there's like a level I can get to out here. I have never done that. Holy shit. I have actually ne- I was like, I guess I have never seen what happens if you do this. I want to see what happens. Framped, you're fine. I promise. Um... So yeah, we don't need the flut flut anymore, unfortunately. And he just kind of goes, and he's done. It's really cute. I'm not a huge bird guy, but like, eh, it's not an objectively awful area. I think it's fine. So, I kind of want this. There we go. If I die here, I'm not going to be shocked. Oh no. That's too close. Holy shit. Okay. Let's see if I can get, at least get one... Swamp. I own these here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? Anyway, I got bigger problems now. Seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on. Scaring away my pet hip hog, Parley. He's been missing for nigh on to a coon's age. I've been putting out his favorite snack. Those ornery swamp rats keep stealing them. If you could keep those pesky critters away long enough, I just know Farley would smell them vitals and come back. Will you help me out? I like how he immediately goes onto his back. Good. Those rats will be back any time. Yeah, this part's tough. I gotta kind of focus. Oh boy. So this is actually way harder than it looks. I am a PC gamer. I would rather use a mouse for this. Not an analog stick. If they eat one, it's over. It's fucking really strict, trust me. There we go. I'm not safe stating, that was a fucking lag. I'm gonna fucking fail. Oh, I can feel it. Yep. Ugh. That's one you can just feel, because it starts to fall apart really fast. Ugh. I normally don't fail that either, that's what's really sad.
He sure knows how to shoot. Thanks a heap for the help. That is way harder than it looks. I'm dead serious, man. And that's a hip hug. Yeah. This thing comes back later in the series, I promise. This guy gets way too much enjoyment from that. He's gonna come. I'm gonna... I can't show that on YouTube, okay? I like how there's even a little outhouse over here. I'm pretty sure that's what that is, right? I don't know. That's what he's next to. I'm sorry. But I like how the game implies it's technically his swamp. I like that. He's like Shrek and Yoda put together. It's weird. Maybe I'm putting way too much thought into this. Let me have my moment, damn it. Whew. Alright. I don't remember what they actually have on top of that. Isn't it health? No, it's nothing. Oh, that's bullshit. I thought there was something there. I thought you played this game before. Ooh. But yeah, look at this, like, idea. You can see why in my mind I was like... You know, I could see there being, like, a secret, like, island or whatever. If you get a turbo 1 million percent, you can do it. You know, I've actually never finished the game with every single, um... Like, orb, so maybe there is something and I just don't know it. You know, that's not honestly too far-fetched. So... Oh boy. I'm pretty sure there's just that one... Like, cell left. Yeah, it's all the way over here. But yeah, I think this is a really cool level, because it lets you have fun with a gimmick, like, with the eco, because you're like, oh, I can shoot, I can aim with it, and they actually throw in an FPS section. That's a pretty clever idea. It's tough, but it's at least... It's what I mean, like, the game knew how to have fun with the uh, systems in play. That's what makes this game so satisfying. Like, they could have just made it a jumpy, runny platformer game, and I would have been happy and fine with that, too. But I like that there's a lot of variance to the game. And I think that makes that thing die, right? whip a -coo. Good. So yeah, that thing just goes into a whole entirely different game. Never to be seen again. And, uh... It's kind of a damn shame. I wish they would have brought that back later on, but I guess... It makes sense, because what if a player didn't actually do that? But then again, if you're getting a hundred percent, come on, man. You should you should do something with something like that. It's like a total Chekhov's gun, I'm just gonna say. Or I just have really high standards for shit. That's pr that's probably the more likely situation here. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna go for it. I'm risking it. Oh pretty sure that's not a good idea. Okay, let's go and uncover the vent, just in case. Because I really don't want to have to deal with that. Framps, you're fine. Um... Because, yeah, this... This game had so much cool shit in it when I was a kid, because, you know, when you're a kid, everything's mysterious. Like, if you see something that's interesting, you're like, Oh, I wonder if I can get there or not. And then if you actually get rewarded by doing it, it makes you feel like you're, you know, rewarded for your patience and your your actual ingenuity and shit. I like that in games. It's a very fun way of rewarding people. So, that's pretty much all the swamp, though. I really, you know, as stupid as it sounds, I should probably just get killed. So, uh, I'll do it in a minute. I'll see you guys in the next one where we take on the boss and have a good one. That was a bad outro, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna get killed.